everyone, welcome back to Deacon Nora, and today we have another Deacon's NFL Talk video, and happy Easter guys, I know it's after Easter, I wanted to do this on Sunday, but it just didn't turn out well, and if you guys don't see my background, I have this, I'm setting up a background now, like, to get, like, kind of like the sports feeling, and if you don't see the yellow clear thing right there, the transparent yellow thing, that won't always be there because it's just for Easter, because it's a transparent chicken, it's a transparent chicken, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that only here for Easter. It won't all always be there, but it'll be there for now. So now um, let's get to the sneak peek for this video. So defensive back Stephon Gilmore signs with the Indianapolis Colts for $23 million. Wide receiver Sammy Watkins goes to the Green Bay Packers to replace Marquez Valdez Scantling and Devontae Adams. Also, Devontae Parker signs with the New England Patriots. And there's two bonus sports today: the USFL Football League. Which stand, USFL stands for United States Football League. And then we have the NBA Basketball, which is round one of the NBA playoffs. That all starts next on Deacon's NFL Talk. Hello, everyone, and thank you guys for joining me on Deacon's NFL Talk. We don't have much news today, but we're trying to go through it as fast as possible. So let's get straight into it. I print, I print out stuff to like read the news, and I have like devices here to look up and see if there's anything going on while we're recording. But let's get to free agency. I don't, I don't think I, I don't have. We don't have any trades that I know of. I haven't heard any trades. So we're all, we have free agency, some NFL news, and then we have um, some visits. That's all we have. I don't think I don't think there's any trades that I know of. So free agency. Randy Gregory goes to the Broncos, linebacker Troy Reader to the Chargers, defensive end Dante Fowler Jr. to the Cowboys, wide receiver Cedric Wilson Jr. to the Dolphins. So here's the thing. So, Dolphins are full of speed. You have Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, and then you add Raheem Mostert. Was it, I'm pretty sure it was Raheem Mostert. I, I, I forget. But now, Tyreek Hill going to Miami, he's attracting players that come to Miami now, like Cedric Wilson. As you can see, he's signed to the Dolphins now. So that's huge. I think it's kind of like Tom Brady, like how Tom Brady plays for the Buccaneers. He's attracting so many people. Like, he attracted Rob Gronkowski to play with him in Tampa. It's kind of like the Tom Brady thing. It's so like Tom Brady retires. Like, everyone's like, Chris Godwin's going to leave. What's Mike Evans going to do? Gronkowski's going to leave. Then he comes back, and Chris Godwin comes and signs and wants to play for the Buccaneers again. Because they see that this guy, like this certain player, who's really good, goes to this one team, and they have – like a decent quarterback or like a really good quarterback or something like that. And then like like oh I can win a Super Bowl with this team. I'm gonna join this team and see if we can win a Super Bowl. So it attracts so much players. So it's it's kinda like the Tom Brady thing. And then safety Deshaun Elliott to the Lions, linebacker Brandon King to the Colts, wide receiver Sammy Watkins to the Packers of Saul, that's huge. Replacing Mark as well to scaling and Devontae Adams. So if 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 you're in if you're the Packers in the NFL draft you, that's great. You sign Sammy Watkins. And now, maybe you take, like, if Chris Olave is still on the board, you can take a guy like him, or maybe, like, Drake London or Jamison Williams. Take a wide receiver to replace both of those people. That defensive back, Stephon Gilmore, goes to the Colts. That's huge for them. Matt Ryan will have some help on defense. Stephon Gilmore is a Pro Bowl corner, and he's very talented. All right, let's get some news in here. So, oh, wait, oh, yeah, we have some free agency stuff. We have some more free agency stuff. So we have... Um, Jannard Avery goes to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Day Deshaun Hamilton to the Texans. Solomon Thomas to the Jets. CJ Uzama joins him, and then Solomon Thomas. And then wide receiver Devontae Parker goes to the Patriots. That's that's very good. Patriots need a wide receiver. So you get Devontae Parker, which is huge for you. Now you can maybe get a guy like Jameson Williams or something like that in the draft. Um, so that, that would be huge for them. They need wide receivers. So, let's get some news. Baker Mayfield feeling disrespected by the Cleveland Browns. So, I, I do feel, I do get it. Okay? So, that you're, like, you were the starter for the Browns team. And you just got replaced by a Deshaun Watson, who's very talented. No doubt about it, you want to start him. And I can see how he feels very disrespected. Respected. But, I mean, I can see why the Browns wanted to get Deshaun Watson or a, a quarterback. Because Baker Mayfield has some issues with his shoulder, so they definitely wanted to get a new quarterback. But yeah, um, Baker Mayfield um, options. If I choose one, I'd probably take Seattle. But I feel like I'm hearing things 
like that Seattle is visiting like quarterbacks in a draft. So I don't know if they'll draft one, but the best fit right now would be Seattle right now. Maybe you can replace Jameis, Jameis Winston in the Saints, but I there's not a whole bunch of spots open for him. Falcons, they got Marcus Mariota, the Colts, Commanders, they're not open. Um, I like but like about maybe like a week ago, week and a half ago, something like that. I would have said the Texans. The Texans are sticking with Davis Mills. They don't, they don't want a quarterback, so Texans are off the board. Maybe replace the ty- maybe replace Ryan Tannehill. Get another Ryan Tannehill like Baker Mayfield, but I just I, there's not really any place for him to go. Maybe that be on the bench. And then Derek Carr new contract ex- contract three years one hundred twenty one point five million dollar contract extension forty point five million at million dollars average per year. So once again, it's kind of like the Aaron Rodgers thing. Like you better be worth the money. So um, it's very huge um because Derek Carr and Devontae Adams have been planning to be on the same team for a long time. They played with each other with each other in college, so that's very um, good for them to reunite. Kind of like Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, how when they were in college, didn't take them long to reunite. Reunite, but took Derek Carr, Devontae. That's huge because Derek Carr, Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, and Darren Waller. That's that's elite. I think they could maybe get the number one seed this year. Um, I can't wait to see Devontae Adams in a uh, Raiders uniform. I cannot wait to see all these. Players go to different teams in their uniform, like Russell Wilson in a Broncos uniform, um, Carson Wentz in a Commanders uniform. I I, I want to see the Commanders uniforms. I've seen them. I just want to see him playing it. I want to see Matt Ryan's uniform. I want to see Marcus. I can kind of imagine Marcus Mariota in a Falcons uniform. I can kind of imagine that. And then Lamar Jackson entering end of rookie contract. He has a lot of talent. I think you definitely keep him. Maybe a few more years. He'll win a ring. He needs a ring. I think he's very talented for it. And then. Steelers interested in Tyron Matthew. That's huge. You get, like, Mitch, Mitchell Trubisky. Then you have a guy like Tyron Matthew, the honey badger on defense, would, which would be ginormous. Someone needs to sign this guy already. This guy has insane talent. No one's signed him yet. And he's been in, like, free agency for, like, two weeks an hour or something like that. Then Cowboys owner Jerry Jones willing to trade up in the draft. When he says trade up, I don't know if he means, like, at a higher overall, like, 160, like, 60, or does he mean, like, go down? I th- I'm pretty sure it means down. But yeah, definitely want to maybe maybe want to try try and get a better overall pick, get a wide receiver because you really the only wide wide receivers you have are like um like C D Lamb, you have Dolan Schultz, and then I don't know anything about Michael Gallup. They lose Amari Cooper, that's huge. So definitely need a wide receiver in the draft. That's very huge. So that's all the news right now. Let's get to some visits. And we're going through this fast. So the visits, we have quarterback Kenny Pickett visiting the Panthers on Wednesday. I will get my draft thing in, like uh, my draft predictions or my draft 2.0 thing. I did do this on a short. I have no idea if you guys saw it or not. If you didn't, go check it out. But if you're too lazy to check it out for some reason, I will I will do it after we get the visits done. So, and then Cor- Kenny Pickett goes to the Panthers, which I think he would definitely get drafted there. I feel like... Panthers coach and Kenny Pickett kind of have a relationship with each other, or good friends, or something like that. I'm pretty sure they met each other, like in like a I forget what it was, but they met each other one day. Quarterback Desmond Ritter visited the Seahawks Wednesday. Quarterback Carson Strong visited the Steelers Wednesday. Running back Brees Hall visited the Texans Wednesday. So the Steelers are visiting two quarterbacks. Then quarterback Matt Corral, or no, wait, yeah, two. Quarterback Matt Corral visited Steelers Thursday, and Melvin Ingram visited the Dolphins. That's he Tyreek Hill. He's attracting players. You get Cedric Wilson. Maybe Melvin Ingram will go to the Dolphins. That would be huge for them. Like now, I think if all if they got all these people, I think I think the Super, like maybe the AFC Championship would be either Bengals Dolphins or Raiders Bengals. Um, yeah, so. Those teams are turning out to be really good. Dolphins and Raiders. Watch those teams. Maybe look, look at the Broncos, too. So, um, yeah, let's do my first-round mock draft 2.0. The 1.0 wasn't real good. But, yeah, don't mind if you don't agree with some of this stuff. I'm not a college guy. I'll do a 3.0 on the 23rd of Saturday, which is in, like, five days. So, I will make one of that. But the first pick, the Jaguars, have them taking edge Kayvon Thibodeau. The second pick, the Lions, have them taking edge Trayvon Walker. It's two edges off the board. Third pick, Texans. 
I have them taking on the offensive line, Evan Neal. Fourth pick, the Jets. I have them taking tackle, Aki McQuanu. Fifth pick, I have, them, I have the Giants taking defensive back, Sauce Gardner, or Ahmad Gardner, or something like that. Sixth pick, the Panthers. I have them taking quarterback, Kenny Pickett. I really think so. I, I don't think people were saying Malik Lewis, but remember, Ken, Malik Lewis hasn't visited a team yet, I don't think. So I think it's going to be Kenny Pickett going to the Panthers, which would be huge. Um, seventh pick, the Giants must have traded up. Wide receiver, I have them taking wide receiver Jahan Dotson. Eighth pick of the of the Falcons, I have them taking wide receiver Garrett Wilson. I everyone's saying that, and I definitely agree with everyone who is saying that. It is so it's definitely gonna happen. If it doesn't happen, what it, if it doesn't happen? It's crazy because you Calvin Ridley suspended for a year for gambling on games, which is dumb. Um, I don't think they should have suspended. Maybe for like maybe for like two weeks or something like that. I have no idea. So definitely need a wide receiver there. Then a ninth pick, the Seahawks. I have them taking edge Aiden Hutchinson. Tenth pick, the Jets. I have them taking edge Jermaine Johnson. There's a lot of good edges out there. And the eleventh pick, the Commanders. I have them taking wide receiver Drake London. Twelfth pick, the Vikings. I have them taking defensive back Trent McDuffie. Thirteenth pick, the Texans. I have them taking on the O line, offensive line Zion Johnson. Um, and then we have fourteenth pick, Ravens. I have them taking defensive tackle Logan Hall. 15th pick, the Eagles. I'm then taking wide receiver Jamison Williams, which definitely, I maybe he will go to the Patriots, but I have no idea. Because you definitely, see, Eagles need a wide receiver. Like, it's not, it can't just only be, like, okay, so the Falcons. So, like, I, like Garrett Wilson, he has to go there because all you have is Kyle Pitts. That's all you, all you got to throw to. It's kind of like the same thing for the Eagles. They're only going to throw to the Heisman Trophy winner. I forget his name. What is his name? Devontae, Devontae Smith, yeah. It's like the Eagles. You're only throwing the ball to Devontae Smith because he's your best receiver. You need to get, like, a Jameson Williams guy. 16th pick, the Saints. I'm going to take linebacker Devin Lloyd. 17th pick, the Chargers. I'm going to take on the offensive line, Kenyon Green. 18th pick, Eagles. I'm going to take running back, Kenneth Walker the third. 19th pick, Saints. I'm going to take safety, Kyle Hamilton. 20th pick, the Steelers. I'm going to take linebacker, Chad Muma. 21st pick, the Patriots. I'm taking tight end um, Jeremy Rucker, who's a crazy Ohio State guy. 22nd pick, the Packers. I'm taking wide receiver Chris Olave, if he's still on the board. 23rd pick, the Cardinals. I'm taking defensive back Kyler Gordon. 24th pick, the Cowboys. I'm taking wide receiver Traylon Burks. 25th pick, the Bills. I'm taking running back Isaiah Spiller. 26th pick, the Titans. I've been taking quarterback from Lake Willis. Someone needs to replace Ryan Tannehill. You can't just keep Ryan Tannehill. He threw two inter three interceptions in the divisional round game to the Bengals, which I'm very happy for. He threw the last one to Logan Will to Eli Apple deflect deflected it. And Ryan Tannehill just needs to re replace someday or another. 27th pick, the Buccaneers. I'm taking safety Daxton Hill. 28th pick, the Packers. I've been taking defensive backs Derek Stingley Jr. 29th pick, the Chiefs. I have them taking linebacker Christian Harris. 30th pick, the Chiefs, once again. I have them taking on the offensive line, Bernhard Raymond. 31st pick, the Bengals. I have them taking center Tyler Underbond. Did you get Ted Karras? T Ted Karras. And then maybe you can have, like, a rookie rookie center playing in the preseason, which would be very fun to watch. And then the last pick in the first round, the 32nd pick goes to the Lions. I have them taking quarterback Matt Corral. I think that's where you're gonna go because the Lions, they, the coach, the, their coach has been saying maybe there's an opportunity to draft a quarterback. It's kind of, I think they're gonna. I don't, I don't know. I if I'm the Lions, I definitely maybe I kind of want to stay with Jared Goff for like one more year or something like that, or maybe get Matt Corral, have him as a backup, see what Jared Goff can do this year. But yeah, so we will go to the bonus board. We have two bonus boards, and I will tell you guys the, what the USFL is. You guys probably most of the world knows what the NBA is, but yeah, you know, let's get to the bone. Okay, guys, so we're here for the bonus sport, and we're gonna do this real quick. So the USFL, it's like a United States Football League, where there's like New Jersey Generals, Birmingham Stallions, Houston Gamblers, Michigan Panthers, New Orleans Breakers, Philadelphia Stars, Tampa Bay Bandits, Pittsburgh Maulers, or something like that. And there's like eight teams, Philadelphia Stars, and yeah, there's like a, eight eight teams, and two divisions. So let's go through this week one schedule. I will tell you guys most of it um, on Saturday. So first game on April sixteenth was the New Jersey Generals against the Birmingham Stallions. Birmingham Stallions won twenty eight twenty four in the opening day for the USFL. 
the Houston Gamblers against Michigan Panthers. I'm a Michigan Panthers fan. Um, the Gamblers won 17 to 12, and then also these 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 last two, the Houston Gamblers and Michigan Panthers one was on Easter. So this last one was on Easter. Um, Philadelphia Stars, New Orleans Breakers. New Orleans Breakers won 23-17. So that was, and then the upcoming ones, the April 18th, we have Tampa Bay Bandits and the Pittsburgh Maulers. That will be the last game, that which is tonight, 7 p.m., and that will be the, all of it for the USF for week one. Now let's get to some NBA stuff here. So the playoff rounds week one, Jazz beat Mavericks 99-93, Super Bowls beat Grizzlies 131-17, Raptors and 76ers, 76ers 131 to 111. Warriors against Nuggets, Warriors won 123 to 107. Heat against Hawks, uh, Heat won 115 to 91. Uh, Celtics against Brooklyn Nets, Nets or the uh, not Bro Celtics. I watched the final thing. Jason Tatum got the game winning thing, 115 to 114. I'm pretty sure it was Jason Tatum. And then Bulls and um, Bucks, so Bulls lost 86-93. Suns won against the Pelicans, 110-99. to And the Raptors and 76ers is today, 7.30. Jazz and Mavericks, 8.30 today. Nuggets and Warriors today at 10 p.m. And then I'll tell you guys the games next week. Um, so that, those are the only ones today. I'm always saying the today ones. But, yeah, that is the bonus sport. And thank you guys for joining the Gives It All Talk. This was an exciting one. Uh, finally get some else beside March Madness. And I was very upset when North Carolina won. Um, I need to do something, but I I predicted North Carolina to win the March Madness thing against Kansas, and that was sad. I really wanted them to win. I didn't predict them to win. I only wanted them to win, and I was really sad about that. So yeah, the USFL. I'm not, I'll do I'll do a fast thing about it. So it's it's the United States Football League. It's like a ten week thing, two divisions, eight teams. Like in like the playoffs or something. I don't know anything about the playoffs yet, but yeah, there's ten weeks, so it'll go through. The last game is on, let me see, the last game is on, let me see, where's it at? Um, oh, it doesn't know when. So the last game is to be determined. Um, so we don't, I don't, TBA, I have no idea what that stood for, but it's, it hasn't decided yet. But, yeah, um, I uh, hope you guys are, football fans, you need to watch the USL. It's actually, it's actually pretty interesting. So, yeah. I'm a Michigan Panthers fan because they're the closest to where we live. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching Deacons and I'll Talk. And I will see you guys hopefully Saturday at 3.30, hopefully, if I can get these videos to be okay. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and see you guys later on Deacon and a lot. But thank you for watching Deacons NFL Talk.